ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. A helicopter flight, trailing a crane, in the air above our teeming streets, on which it could have crashed at any moment in a blazing rotor-chopping fireball of doom. Still think the webhead's protecting people like you, caller? Well, he stopped them, and he made sure the helicopter didn't land on him. So, it seems to me he did the right thing. The right thing would be to call the professionals. My son serves proudly in the Air Force. He's fought thousands of hours of flight time and years of training in protecting our homeland. But he's not good enough? Well, of course he is, but he wasn't there. Spider-Man was. Because that's how he wanted it! God forbid he shares a spotlight with anyone! That's it. I'm done pointing out the obvious. Let's go to commercials. I need a double aspirin with an ant acid chase! There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. Last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. <laughs> well. If only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Not honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so such exemplary citizens I think this gang war may finally be over. With that, like, I would like, to hand like it over, over? To over? Oh, I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could... You know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer.
Peter! Over there. Your name is in the financial district. Again, no confirmation. We lost contact with Susan McAbee broadcasting from the Osborne rally. We'll keep you updated. <coughs> Whoa! Again, breaking news. Oh, man! Right there.
We have to leave. Now! Dad. 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 No! Wake up, Dad. Wake up. Wake up. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. <laughs> 